In our previous video about gossip, we said that gossip has three conditions. It is something that's harmful or derogatory, it has no constructive purpose, and it is true. So what might be a constructive purpose for speaking negatively about somebody else? Let's say I have a real need to emotionally ventilate. Somebody said something, they really hurt me, and it's hard for me to hold it in. I need to get some release. So that is actually considered to be, according to Jewish law, a valid reason, a constructive purpose. But there are a few conditions. What are the conditions? Number one, choose one person to ventilate to. If by the end of the day, you've told your husband, your mother, your best friend, your hairstylist, and basically anybody who would listen to you, you've gone way too far. Really, how many people do you need to talk to to get the emotional release that you are seeking? You have to be honest with yourself. Number two is say the least that you need to say in order to gain the emotional release that you are seeking. Do you really need to say every dirty detail of what happened? And then the third thing is learn to say someone instead of the name of the person. If you can ventilate without the listener um, knowing who the subject of your speech is about, it is best that you just say someone. Someone at work told me that I'm bringing the group down with my negative attitude. Someone at work took credit for a report that I really wrote most of it. Why are you, why are you ventilating? Do you, need, do you need sympathy? Do you need advice? You can get that without revealing the identity of the person. If you're just seeking to badmouth a person, that's not a constructive reason to be ventilating. One more thing, in truth, we often think that we need to ventilate way, way more than we do. And we're much stronger. There's so many things that we really can deal with ourselves. We don't need to tell people we really, it's a, you have to be brutally honest. Do I, can I sit with this myself? Can I deal with this myself? Do I really need to tell somebody about it? And sometimes we feel like with our spouses, it's an anything goes attitude. This gossip, of course, it doesn't like apply between me and my husband. Well, yes, it does. Gossip applies between spouses. And think about it. If gossip is so lowly, why would you want to do it with the person with whom you would like to be your highest self for? So think about if you, if you need to ventilate, say it to one person, say the least that you need to say, and learn to say someone. And with your spouse, remember, it's not a free for all. We want to put our very best foot forward for the person who's number one in our lives. I'm Hannah Heller from the JWI. Thanks for listening.